Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we got something for the little rock crawlers today. Um, well, not just for rock crawlers, but that's what it's going to be used in. So this is the uh, Sense Soundbox. Um, you've got the, this is the ESS Jewel, so you've got two sets of sounds that you can save to the actual unit, so you can quick swap. But let's have a look what we get. So we get a set of instructions, or two sets, basically this one just shows what vehicles it will fit, um, you can put it in pretty much anything but it does come with a bunch of um, pre-made mounts to allow you to fit it directly into some vehicles, so it's the Axial SCX-10-2, uh, Axial SCX-10, the TRX-4 and uh, that one is the Wraith, I think. So, basically, you get a bunch of that. Then we get a guide, what tells you how to install it. Um, this talks you through what you need to plug it into. Um, you have got a servo plug that will go to your throttle. You've also got one that will go to an auxiliary channel, and that lets you assign a sound to a button. So you can have like a car on or gunshots or pretty much any sound you want if you want to make the sound up for it yourself. Um, you also get in the box a tiny little USB dongle and I've tried this on Windows 10 and that's what we've got it running on. So that is what you connect to the actual sound box itself to allow it to update from the PC. So what you're going to want to do is once you've got your sound box you then the yellow one is the auxiliary so that's not used for programming so you want to connect that to your USB then you want to give it a power feed which we're going to adopt for uh, the batteries that I'm using it comes with a T-type Dings connector uh, but I think I'll be taking that off and putting uh, either soldering it directly into the car or um, putting a little adapter on I think we've got XT60s on the crawler uh, it does come with a warning and it's a bit of a bit of a strange one this one um, basically if you're running off two batteries or they're going to be used in serial it says you must plug the ESS device onto the cathode which is basically your minus lead side of the serial connection um, so you don't put it into the positive feed of the so if you've got if you're running 6s with two 3s batteries you don't connect this into the positive side it goes in between the negative battery so it can get negative and positive bit of a strange little picture how it shows you and it's not uh, it's not extremely clear how it does it but basically you'd want to put the positive and negative wires to the last one in line from your negative to your ESC so we'll have to look look a bit more into that uh, it won't be a concern with any of our crawlers and don't take this off because this is a little ferrite ring and this basically stops interference um, so you don't want to cut that off the actual box itself quite smart quite well made they do sell speakers separate if you damage your speakers and it does warn you in the instructions because you can make your own sound files for this and you could set the volume too high it says start with the volume low and then increase the volume but don't just put it on max no matter what sound you've got on it because you can damage the speakers but as I said they do sell spare speakers for it really cheaply so let's have a look what other stuff we've got in here so that one will want to connect in line with your throttle so you get a Y splitter so that one's going to go into your receiver you're going to put that one into it and then your throttle ESC into that one and plug that into your receiver so that's nice we've also got two quite thick spongy 3M pads you've got a bunch of little screws and some of them are tapered head 
and I believe that's for putting into the mounts like this use the tapered head ones and we've got a whole bunch of different mounts so the non tapered heads I believe would go in this one and that would go in there to trap it in between your body posts and I think that one looking at it is for one of the axles so you'd mount that to it and then mount it that way that one I'm not sure of maybe it's just an optional optional mount for one type of RC don't think it says in these instructions what that one's for oh yeah that's that's the axial SCX2 so that goes in between the chassis rails and mounts it that way and I believe where is it that one's the Wraith and I think that one is the TRX4 so it goes between the two rear body posts so you mount the speaker then put that on front back tighten it up and that mounts it that way but failing all that you do have the little M3 pads so let's get this plugged into the computer and I'll take you through how you download the sounds how you set the sounds and the parameters on this because it has also got a built in LiPo alarm that you can use we'll not be using that because we're on MB4 on crawler um, and it also checks the firmware so you can do the firmware update now I do believe when these first came out you had to sign up and make an account to download the extra sounds and now it's all free so once you've bought this all the extra sounds that they do for it they're all free you can just download them but that's what we get in the box so let's take a look at what you do to get it firmware updated and everything on the PC right so first thing you want to do is browse to their website and then you'll find a download link and you want to download the software for Windows so we'll get that downloaded now and make sure you know where you're downloading it to and depending on your internet speed it doesn't take very long to download then you want to run it and it basically gets like an online downloader and it just downloads it and installs it to the folder you started it from then what you can do is before you get to this I've gone through and clicked on everything and downloaded it but rather than install it'll say download the bottom tab here you can choose which is your sound in sound 1 or sound 2 and then you can press them to uh, just play them back listen to the sound that you've already got installed on it you can delete the sounds from it as well and then you've got your last slot which is the auxiliary channel so you've got a whole bunch of settings for each one you can tell whether it idles um, rev limiter and then your different sound settings then again for break you can enable disable it you can have it set to forward only or working forward and reverse turbo sound again you can set the volume and you can also enable or disable it and then your custom slot is the one on auxiliary and you can set the PWM limit of where it triggers so if you've got it on a dial or a button you can set that up to match you can also rename it so if you've got multiple ones of these you know which one you're working on and then if you press on that one that's the sound you've got loaded to the second slot and again you can customize them all change them upload custom ones that you've made so this is where you'd save the custom ones to and then you just browse to it and then you can just delete them again all your settings for configuring what you actually want enabled on that sound on that memory bank so if you change them you just hit save now if you go to configuration this is where you can set whether you're on a lipo or a nim 
how many cells you've got so it knows where to trigger and then you can set the voltage you want it to trigger at and you can also change the uh, volume of it but we're going to run with that off just because I've got the MB4 doing it and uh, you can load up custom sounds from here and that's where you'd browse to your custom sound that you've created for it you've got a limited amount of memory on it so you'd have to play about with uh, what file structure it needs and how big a sound or how much of a sound you can you can fit you got a few settings for the actual software itself and it will auto detect the device we literally just plugged it in through USB and these are all the uh, different sound settings that I've got downloaded as I said I just went through every one clicking download so I've got them all seems to be multiple menus with same options for importing custom sounds and everything and then back to store and that's where you'd go through downloading each different sound you can listen to them before you download them and then you click install and it asks you which one you want it to install to and that's how long it takes to just save it to the actual device itself and then you can go on to which, whichever memory you've chose you can play it to make sure it's actually saved to it and then that's back to home screen where I believe that's where you used to have to um, sign in you've got a little little line that tells you uh, what's on it and you can check for firmware it'll do an automatic update whenever or whenever you go on it will automatically check the firmware version and tell you if there's one available and you can downgrade the firmware in case there's an issue with the one that you've put on so if you like this video like and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and i'll catch you again in the next one where we'll be fitting all this oh, yeah.